guys, welcome back to Toy Transformations. This is Sean, today I have a super cute video for you. We're gonna do PJ masks but in their chibi versions. We're gonna use the heads of our cool little world surprises and the bodies of our tiny little little sisters and turn them into Gecko, Owlette, Romeo, and you and Catboy. They're gonna be simply amazing, so you definitely have to watch this video till the end. Let's start with Owlette. We're gonna use a big chunk of this green dirt clay to make her mask. You just need to place it on top of her head and shape it with your fingers. Next, we're gonna make her mask. One of my favorite things about Owlette is her supervision. How would it be to have that power? Let's start covering her head with some of this cool cherry red acrylic paint. Do not paint the eyes. For the irises, let's use a tiny bit of terracotta. And now cover the whole body of your little sister in the same acrylic paint shade that you used to cover our character's head. It's gonna match perfectly. Now we're gonna use a piece of red foam and turn it into Olet's awesome cape. So first draw a spiky shape. And then cut it out with some really sharp scissors. These spikes could be hard to cut out, so make sure that the scissors are real sharp and that you do it very carefully. And to make this cape look extra radiant and realistic, let's add the details with a super thin brush and some creams on red acrylic paint. And for the final detail, let's use some of this cute shade of acrylic paint and the same super thin brush to give it a final detail right in the middle of his chest. There she is, guys! She looks amazing with that awesome cape and the details of the mask. She looks just like in the show. With your day, Amaya becomes... Let's move on to Catboy. So, just like we did with Oled, we're gonna make his mask by covering his face and head with some red clay. Time to give it some color. This royal blue will make him look exactly like in the show, so let's start with the mask. And with the tip of our modeling tool and a tiny bit of baby blue acrylic paint, we're gonna paint some cool tiger stripes all over his costume, starting with the mask. And now cover the whole body of your little sister in the same acrylic paint shade that you used to cover our character's head. It's gonna match perfectly. You can use a pencil to trace them before you paint them. The sweetest thing about these stripes is that they also look like thunders, don't you think? Let's keep adding more cool details, guys. Have you seen that episode when Cowboy and Owlet get stabbed and they act like babies? It was super fun! Now we need to paint the rest of the stripes of his suit. Did you know that tiger stripes actually help them camouflage? That's pretty cool! For his tail, we're gonna grab a thin roll of clay and we're gonna attach it to the back part of the suit. Then just cover it in the same paint you use for the suit and it will be ready. Wow, that boy looks incredible! I think that my favorite part are definitely the awesome tiger stripes. They make him look super tough, ready to take down the bad guys. Let's start with Gecko. We're gonna use a big chunk of this green red clay to make his mask. You just need to place it on top of his head and shape it with your fingers. Then let's use some more bits of clay to make the fence. This is gonna make his costume look pretty cool. One of the things that I like the most about Gecko is that he can go invisible. Time to give Gecko some color. This cool emerald green is perfect for him. So let's paint all of his mask with it, just like this. Next, we're gonna paint the fins on top of his head. What is your favorite episode from this awesome show, guys? We're gonna give the suit a super cool pattern. Just trace a few crisscross lines with an ultra thin brush to make it look super realistic. Now we can start working on his eyes. We need to paint them with some of this kiwi green acrylic paint. Paint everything but the pupils. And now cover the whole body of your little sister in the same acrylic paint shade that you used to cover our character's head. It's gonna match perfectly. And now again, just like you did with the head, add a super cool crisscross pattern with your ultra thin brush and some young green acrylic paint. To finish up his cool suit, grab a thicker brush and a much lighter and vivid shade of green to brighten up his costume and apply it in the feet and the chest. For his tail, we're gonna grab a thin roll of clay and we're gonna attach it to the back part of the suit. Then just cover it in the same paint you use for the suit and it will be ready. And here we have Greg, also known as the awesome gecko. I really love all the details we made for his costume, especially the fins on top of his head and that awesome pattern. So nice. Let's move on to Anju, your dragonless dragon girl. We're gonna start doing her cool hairdo. It kinda reminds me of Puka. Did you watch that video? 
And now we're gonna cover those bones in a sweet shade of midnight blue acrylic paint. Marinette's hair color. Next, we're gonna do her armor helmet. For that, we're gonna grab another piece of the red foam we used previously. We're gonna give it a W shape. Once it looks exactly like this, we're gonna be ready to cut it out with our scissors. Make sure to be very careful when you do so. And now we're gonna draw a cool spiky shape. For this, we'll need another piece of foam, but this time it's gonna be in a yellow shade. Draw it using a pen. Once you're done, follow the pattern you just traced with your scissors. Again, be very careful. These are super tiny pieces, guys. And now we'll make it extra vibrant with a shimmery touch of glittery crimson red acrylic paint. Apply it with your brush and let it dry up. And once we have all the elements ready, we can attach it all to her head. First, apply a ton of clear glue right on her forehead and paste the shimmery red W. And before attaching the spiky yellow little piece, we gotta give it a fresh coat of shimmery golden acrylic paint. It's gonna look just like a crown. Now you can attach it to the shimmery W, put it right in the middle of her forehead and in the middle spike of the W. There. And what about giving it an extra special golden frame all along the crown? It's gonna look just like a dragon. Just dip your paint in the metallic golden and cover the edges. As you can see, we gave some extra details to his cool dragon armor crown. And now, we're gonna change the color of his eyes with some crimson red acrylic paint. Okay guys, now it's time to do her suit. It's gonna be very easy to make. Just grab another piece of red foam and cut it out in a drop piece. If you're not sure how to, trace it first. You're gonna need two of the same red foam pieces. As you can see, we already cut them. Now we're gonna cover the front part of her body in glue and attach one. Do the same at the back. And now that her cool dress is on, make it much more cooler by dipping it all in glittery and shimmery shade of crimson red acrylic paint. And now, just like we did with the frame of her armor, we're gonna frame it all in golden. This gives such a classy touch, don't you think? Now, here we have a piece of yellow glitter foam. We're gonna cut it in a Y shape. It will be the color and the zipper of unused dress. And once you have the Y in the exact size that fits your little doll's body, you can paste it using some clear glue. Hold it with your fingers till it really sticks on. To make it much fancier, you can totally dip it in golden too. You will tell the difference it makes as soon as it dries. And just one more thing left to do with the golden paint, a super cool crisscross pattern that you can do easily with an ultra thin brush and diagonal lines. One final detail before Anju is ready. We're gonna give her long sleeve gloves, paint them directly in her hands and her arms using crimson paint. And now she is ready. Here we have the protector of Mystery Mountain, the shapeshifter and martial arts lover, Dragon Anju. What this explorer needs is stepping stones. Let's move on to our last character of the day, the genius master, the greatest inventor that ever lived, Romeo Meccano. Try to replicate his hair with air dry clay. Now cover all of the hair you just shaped with a generous coat of your black acrylic paint. Apply it with a thick brush. To finish off the hair, add a super cool light blue stripe. Make sure that the black dried before. This reminds me of the Frankenstein bride. As you know, Romeo is a guy who doesn't really wear makeup, but our dolly is wearing some. That's why we're gonna cover her whole face with some paint. We cannot miss his cool glasses. He really has the look of your typical mad scientist, don't you think? You can mold them out of red clay. Once you get the shape right and you fix it in place, cover those cute little glasses with some pebble gray acrylic paint. He wears super cool rubber gloves, he matches them with his awesome leggings, so to make this transformation easier, cover the whole body of your little sister in blue lagoon paint. Once the blue lagoon has dried, you can attach his mad scientist lab coat. Just grab a chunk of white air clay and apply it in your doll like we're doing here. We know the clay is already white, but we're still gonna cover it all in articulate acrylic paint to give it a super cool pearly finish. Simply apply it with your brush. Let's not forget about his boots. He wears some in a sweet marina blue shade. So grab a bit of acrylic paint and apply it in his feet. Then use the same marina blue to trace the color of his lab coat. The same one he uses to carry his handy backpack, which happens to be also marina blue. And as a final detail, let's use some more of our vivid blue lagoon paint. Trace the three slight small lines on the sides. Also, draw a circle in his neck and he will be ready. Here's intelligent, machine inventor Romeo. I can already picture this LOL doll saying, and then I will take over the world. He is a nighttime villain, but he's also so cute. 
And look what's it for today, guys. Here we have the super amazing characters from the show PJ Masks that we made out of a regular LOL and Lil Sister dolls. They look even cuter in their baby versions. First, we have Anju, the super strong warrior representing dragons, such a fabulous superheroine. Next to her is another superwoman, the extra brave Oled, followed by one of the loveliest characters from the show, Gekka. To his left is the incredibly adorable Catboy wearing his ultra cute baby blue suit. And finally, we have the main antagonist, the crazy scientist and inventor Romeo. Don't forget to tell me in the comments below which was your favorite. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more fantastic transformations. We love you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.